Power drives the mission. Whether you're working in an office space or you're working on that flight line, everyone needs power and we make sure we provide uninterrupted power 24-7, 365. Electrical power production in the Air Force, we are responsible for taking care of standby generators and electrical systems and components that go along with power generation. We guarantee that if you lose that commercial power, our standby generators will automatically kick on and your mission goes on. Very common misconception is that we are electrical systems. While a lot of our work is very similar, the electricians actually take care of the power grid that we have on base, so the primary source of power. We are actually the backup power in case of the main power going down. Overseas, we are the prime power. Oftentimes, we'll be in a forward operating location or a beer base location where there's not set infrastructure. Power Pro will be one of the first ones in to set up that base, make sure we get a power grid down the whole base from utilities to office spaces to the flight line where we're flying jets out. It's all powered off of our generators and our power plant that we go in there initially and set up. Second aspect of our job is aircraft arresting systems. That's a metal string of cables strung across the runway and an aircraft lowers their tail hook on landing. It drags along the runway and then it engages that pendant cable and it's that aircraft arresting gear's job to stop that aircraft on that limited runway. What the aircraft arresting system's primary job is, is an opportunity to save the pilot's life in the event of an in-flight emergency, and secondary to prevent further damage to the aircraft. On a deployed location, Oftentimes we have airfields that do not have the safety capability, we don't have a barrier set up. So what we'll do, a team of PowerPro will go in there and we'll set up a mobile aircraft arresting system. We'll string a cable across the runway and it's essentially an aircraft arresting system that's not permanently installed that can get installed at a moment's notice. The day-to-day -day life of a PowerPro technician, you'll do different tasks for preventative maintenance. And so that can be things such as oil changes, coolant changes, along with air filter, fuel filter. And with that, we have projects to install nine new generators. And so we're trying to improve equipment here on the base. The most challenging part of this job is the troubleshooting aspect. We are a mechanical and electrical job. Things do break. When you spend hours on end looking into schematic diagrams and troubleshooting owner manuals and you finally find that fix and you get the job done, that's a very, very rewarding feeling. With knowledge and training and experience comes competence and with competence you can have confidence. You're going to need to bring that to each and every job site. Very easy to get interagency cooperation from different shops, whether it be electrical, pavements, and structures on any job. C comes together. I love everything about the job, the culture of the military, just all fits. Everyone's there for each other. It really does honestly feel like a family. What makes me proud to be a civil engineer is the fact that without civil engineers at any base, anywhere, we don't fly planes if we don't have CE, which supports and sustains and protects all the infrastructure that you need to get each individual job done. My name is Staff Sergeant Gregory Young, and I'm a United States Air Force civil engineer.